We're going to explain what a self-signed certificate in certificate chain SSL error means and how to resolve it. One, the problem starts with SSL certificates. These are like digital IDs that websites use to prove their identity to your web browser. When you visit a website that uses HTTPS, the secure version of HTTP, your browser checks the website's certificate to make sure it's legitimate. Two, a certificate chain is a series of certificates that link the website certificate to a trusted root certificate authority, like Let's Encrypt or DigiCert. Think of it like a chain of trust. Your browser trusts the root authority, the root authority trusts an intermediate certificate, and that intermediate certificate trusts the website's certificate. Three, a self-signed certificate means the website created its own certificate without using a trusted certificate authority. This is fine for testing purposes on a private network, but it's a major security risk on the public internet because your browser doesn't inherently trust it. Four, when you see the self-signed certificate in certificate chain error, it means your browser found a self-signed certificate in the chain of trust. This breaks the chain because your browser doesn't inherently trust self-signed certificates. Five, the most common solution for this problem is installing the self-signed certificate into your browser's trusted certificate store. This basically tells your browser to temporarily trust the self-signed certificate for that specific website. However, this is only recommended if you fully trust the website and understand the security implications. This means you need to be cautious when doing this. Six, the process for installing a self-signed certificate varies slightly depending on your browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, etc. But generally involves navigating to the website's security settings, accepting the certificate, and confirming the installation. Seven, another solution is to use a proper certificate from a trusted CA. This is the preferred and most secure method. It involves purchasing or obtaining a certificate from a reputable certificate authority, CA, and configuring your server properly to use this legitimate certificate. This eliminates the error entirely and provides a much higher level of security. Eight, if you're running a web server and encountering this error, obtaining and installing a proper certificate from a trusted CA is a must for securing your website and ensuring user trust and safety. Nine, remember, Accepting self-signed certificates should be a temporary measure only when you completely understand the associated risks. For publicly accessible websites, obtaining a certificate from a reputable CA is always the best practice. 1.0. Always double check the website's URL to make sure you're on the correct site to avoid phishing attacks. A warning about a self-signed certificate could be a red flag for a fraudulent website attempting to trick